Breaking news, everybody. Exciting news, in fact. This is kind of like CNN for guitars on YouTube. It's like GNN, if you will. It looks like Epiphone is dropping some brand new models and they look fantastic. Some of them are coming out like literally in the next couple of days, I think. And then some of them are coming out early 2021. So what I want to do, because I don't have them physically, obviously, is uh, we're just gonna check them out on this website that they're listed on. And then I want you to help me pick one out because I think I'd really like to get my hands on one if I can uh, and review one. So I'm gonna need your help. Uh, first thing, let me give credit where credit is due. I saw this on the music radar website. Uh, so good on them. So I'm stealing their information and putting it on YouTube. Great. Uh, and this is the American Musical Supply. I didn't find these on anybody else's website. Like I checked Sweetwater. Um, I didn't bother with Guitar Center like that yet, but um, they're on American Musical Supply. So they've got quite a few of them coming out. I'm not going to cover all of them, just the ones that I think, well, the ones that I thought were coolest. Uh, the first one is the Epiphone Coronet. Um, with the single, you know, dog ear P90. These, I think, came out in like the late 50s. I should check. Hold on. 59. Whoop. Didn't screw it up. Uh, 1959, these came out. I think these are awesome. Like on the vintage market, obviously, they're pretty expensive. But to have these come out um, as F Epiphone reissues, I think is awesome. Three, 399. And it says that they're expected October 30th. And this is today is the 28th. So that's two days away. Um, which would be awesome. Ebony, cherry red. Let's check this out really quickly. Classic 12 inch radius, medium C profile, 24 and almost three quarters. Ooh, look at that nut width, 1.69. That's a wide neck. Uh, I like those. And then it has a, let's see what it says, bridge pickup. Epiphone P90 Pro dog ear. So a dog ear P90 and this reissue Epiphone Coronet single P90 for $3.99. That is awesome. Um, you know, Epiphone, I think just bang for the buck is just one of the best out there. Like consistency wise, like all of the ones that I've picked up and played, I really like. Um, so I'm excited for this one. Uh, the next one is the Epiphone Wilshire, Wilshire. I don't know. I pronounce things wrong constantly. Basically a, a two pickup coronet. Uh, again, cherry Epiphone, uh, <laughs> Epiphone. Ebony and Ebony Epiphone, Epiphone. Try saying that a bunch. Uh, this one's going to be four forty nine, and again it says coming October thirtieth. I don't know if that means they're going to have them in stock or that's when they're actually releasing. I don't know. Um, this one again. Let's see. Looks like it has pretty identical specs to the Coronet, but this has two uh, Epiphone Pro P nineties, and these are the soap bars rather than the dog ears. Very cool. I don't know. I would personally, I think I would go for the coronet. I just like, I just like that look, the single pickup, the P90 and the bridge is just kind of a dream. Obviously they have different bridge setups. Um, cool. The Epiphone Crestwood custom electric guitar, two pro mini humbuckers uh, in cherry. And it also comes in Polaris white. So again, it says October 30th for both colors. I don't know. Obviously this has the trim system and it looks like these like two Firebirds? No, Pro Mini Humbuckers. Some of them say like FB on the, the minis. Um, like this, hold on. I know I'm all over the place, I'm scattered. See, this is the Pro Bucker FB. So this is like more of the Firebird neck pickup. And then this one just has the two Mini Humbuckers. Anyways, this one, doesn't super interest me. I think it looks awesome. I just don't really like trim systems that that much. Um, and the mini humbuckers, I think, are rad. Uh, so I bet that thing sounds cool. But it's not really for me. This one, the Epiphone LE Nancy Wilson Fanatic Guitar Fireburst. Also comes with a case. Very cool. This one's 529. Uh, and this one is not coming until January 15th. So that's a little ways out. But what a cool guitar. Check it out. It's got the Firebird neck pickup and then the slanted humbucker and the bridge, very cool. I like that, let's check it out here. Again, big wide neck, rounded C. Oh, this is a 25 and a half inch scale length. Very cool. Again, the Probucker Firebird in the neck and then the Probucker 3 slant open coil in the bridge. That's awesome. That one looks cool, I don't know. That's a tough call, what do you think, between the Coronet and the Nancy Wilson. I'm gonna have to go Coronet. And then finally, this one's kind of like, whoa. 
a USA casino. I love casinos. Like I love, love, love Ep Epiphone casinos. Um, to have a USA made one, of course, it's going to be $2,700 um, naturally. Uh, comes in royal tan and vintage burst. And again, this one doesn't come out until January 12th, 2021. So I don't know what their dates, you know, how reliable that's going to be or not. They've probably got things fairly squared away uh, at this point with the whole, you know, situation, the virus that shall not be named so that I don't get banned on YouTube. <laughs> uh, the pickups in this one are going to be uh, Gibson USA P90 dog ears. Okay. So this one's going to be the, the Gibson USA pickups. 1.68, not with 24 and three quarters, the huge rounded C, mahogany neck, very cool. Man, I'm not gonna get that one because that's that's a chunk of change, but man, bound fretboard, look at that, nice headstock. Oh man, and those P90s. I think casinos sound just so good, I love them. Um, maybe I'll get like the actual Epiphone not USA version of those. So again, that's what it looks like they're coming out with. I just found that out and just kind of wanted to make a video quick because they look really freaking cool. I'm excited about these. I think Epiphone's just been killing it um, this last like year, year and a half, like with all their models that have come out. Everyone that I've played has been really nice. Um, I think the whole, well, they're basically just Gibson now is a little bit overblown, uh, but they are really, really nice. And for the money, my goodness, like that Cornet for three ninety nine, what a cool guitar. So I'm pumped. Anyways, let me know. What do you think? Are you excited about them? Do you like them? Are you going to get one? And then, of course, let me know which one do you think that I should get uh, to review. And I know I keep looking back at my screen to check this out. Instead of, you know, respecting you, dear viewer, I should be, you know, connecting with windows into your soul. I'm just staring at a dead thing, a camera. I'm having some water because I don't feel very good. No, it's not that. So yeah, uh, vote for your favorite down in the comments below. Let me know and maybe that will sort of help me make a decision about which one I should review for y'all, as they say, not in Massachusetts. All right, laters. Oh, I almost forgot. I got to say it. Now go play guitar.